Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completed daily challenges for today, Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. Before we begin our daily challenges, we're going to be involved in the Mothman Equinox event. Of course, I'm on a public server, and hopefully we have a little bit better luck than we did yesterday. We did have to have to server hop once, which isn't too bad. Uh, so let's go ahead, we're going to make ourselves to Point Pleasant here, and uh, see who shows up. I'm not guaranteeing that we won't be uh, server hopping here, it all depends on the server. I have been getting reports from other folks that uh, they have been finding the same kind of results on their gameplay. And we are on the, the back nine, I should say, of the Mothman Equinox event, a lot of people have grinded it last week and a little bit beginning of this week and maybe gotten of all the plans that they've wanted uh it will be back in may from what i've been reading and told but uh, we'll see what happens here and uh hopefully uh hopefully we won't have the server hop now we have been getting daily challenges uh last week and a little bit this week where we have to complete the mothman equinox event or and, or I should say, children. kill five Ratsteg or kill ten cultists during the Mothman Equinox event. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, we'll see here once when our dailies start to pop in. We'll take a look at them. And, uh, see who's going to show up here. Looks like someone's over there. Oh, a couple people. So that's, that's all right. They're fairly high level. Nice. Nice. Hopefully we want the server hop here. Um, let's wait till we get more people here, though, I would, I would, uh, suggest. Let's take a look at the dailies. I wonder if they pop in. There we go. Let's go ahead and we're going to track them. So there we go. Complete the Mothman Equinox event. Now, this one here doesn't have the star, so we can re-roll this bad boy. Okay. And what I mean by the star, like, see how it has a little star there? Uh, we cannot re-roll those. Children, so that's good that, well. that we don't have to do, Three but we will do it, hopefully. We'll get through it here. Wise ones home. Their light is a vital uh, kill human enemy, we might be able to see that here and in, uh, during this event. Because there are cultists, after Destroy all, and uh, we may get close to completing this. Each pyre before we proceed. Okay. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only when the vines there. have been the road destroyed here. will the observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. Good job. They are watching from above. <laughs> See that? Oh, yeah, death claw meat there. Erp. 15 rats. Sounds good. Alright, that's awesome. We do get a few folks here, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's go after some stuff here. I hope we can reach him from here. There we go. Uh, let's go after some of the cultist prophets. Again, usually they are inside of buildings. And uh, we'll contribute that way. Oh, this way here, Jim. Usually there's one person in here, usually, kind of hiding normally. Oh, so I'm not today, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes they're down here. A couple of them already killed. Go inside this building here. Four or six. Oh, right there. See him? So this guy will count as kill a human enemy. Oh. Disappeared from us. Hey, there we go. Kill a human enemy. Done one for one. Done. One for one. One for ten, Jim. Come on, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jim, you kill me sometimes, but... Ah, uh, look, there's one more. He's down here. Oh. Oh. Let's 
get him. Oh. That person's gonna get him there, I think. Yeah, that person got him. Alright, that must be a, uh, what they call it, rat stake. Holy. He is invincible. One more, I guess. Oh, so the so ritual site has been prepared. The summoning shall commence once each right, of the fires has been lit. Go, ignite the flames as I, I mean, release the dust of our wise uh, one into the air. <laughs> ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, oh, I love however there. brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes fill you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it All right. show you. The so again, we'll be completing the, moth, the event Mothman Equinox here. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, server stay intact here. <laughs> uh, kill a human enemy ten. So we'll. I don't know if we'll get all ten of them here. It'll be close. It'll be close. But uh, cultists, blood eagles will be considered human enemies. Okay. So FYI on that. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse. As long as you get a shot off, as long as you get a shot off, you get contact <laughs> with the cultists, you'll get credit for it. And if some, you know, you don't have to be the only one to kill it. If someone else, you know, ends up getting that last little bit of health of them, you know, you'll still get credit of it as long as you get a shot off. The heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see with you here. must die. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted shadows oh, they, they must have got them on the other of side of the bridge there. Ones. I don't see anyone down there. Yeah, let's check it out down here, because uh, I'd like to be able to... Oh. Get a couple shots off. The foul dim ones are headed toward the waterside fire, children. You must protect it. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Yeah, no one down here at all. Oh. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. Oh, these guys are trying to get me. Hey, oh, how you doing? Level up, baby. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the help. That Mothman down there. How many we got here? Seven. We may or may not be able to get it done here. Oh. Leave 
if anyone's down there. <laughs> 12 seconds left. Usually there's a couple that kind of run out. Get one more. Do you feel it? The rise yeah, we got uh, <laughs> we were short one. He we him. were short. That's all right. Quickly, children, return to me upon the museum's rooftop. Hard with the weapon I have. I have. I had a. We must invite him to us. Automatic would have been a little bit better. We may have been love closer. But oh, well. we'll still go through Dance, it. Sing, shout. Expel bile from your guts! <laughs> Mothman! You have accepted our invitation! <laughs> we are but meager insects before your intellect. Alright, don't forget to touch Come the uh, wise Mothman to get the benefits. The you feel enlightened by the presence you. of the wise Mothman. Of course, you open your pit boy, you go to stats, effects, wisdom. and true wisdom of the Mothman. 59 minutes worth, bonus XP, plus 15%, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead here and uh, see what we got out of doing this. All right, good stuff. Called this Eventide Robe. So we got the Eventide Hood. I've been waiting for this uh, the robes to show up at some point. I'm glad we got it. Let's drop this stuff here. I'm going to do a little video on the Eventide because I think it's uh, that outfit's fairly new. And we're going to uh, drop that off. I don't need that. We're pretty much uh, close to maxing out here. Got some other stuff on me here as well. Let's... Uh... Yeah, we'll grab that and we'll go and script it. All right, let's go ahead here. Oh, my lord, I almost fell there. There we go. Old, my thumb wasn't working. Nope. Right, let's go ahead and pick up the spoils. Probably not very many down here. Alright, let's go down the other side. Here. Okay, there we go. Put those rounds, pick up that ballistic fiber scrap, it's always good to have. What else we got here? Stim packs. Get that oil as well. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead here. We are going to go to the nearest train station. Uh, let's pop up here to the grappling station and we'll script the stuff off here. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, sell this stuff here. Okay. Complete. Let's um let's see what we got here. I thought I saw something else pop up. Alright, so we did complete the event Mothman Equinox, which you just saw. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm glad that it wasn't uh, a star one, the one that we can't re-roll, so it's given us the option if we can re-roll it or not. So that's pretty good. Um there's another one here. We'll uh we'll continue on with that. With the uh, when we switch servers, but uh, while we are on a public server, we have this one here: buy an item from or sell an item to another player. One, okay. So of course, you know it's best to be on a uh, public server where you can do that. And uh, when you look in the map here, you see other people's uh, camps, and if you notice their camp icon, you see some little icons underneath, and uh, V uh, indicates that they have a vendor. Uh, that's open in their camp, okay? Uh, so um, let's take a look here. I have to kind of, for this particular daily, I have to kind of pick one that maybe has some plans or lots of um, ammo. Those are the ones I usually kind of go for. 
and uh, that's what and you'll see here the reason why here in a second all right it could be anything you can buy anything you want but uh, not a whole lot to choose from here holy okay well we're gonna have to uh, pick one here let's um let's go to this one here Now, again, you could choose to do whatever you wish, but uh, I always kind of pick one for ammo. You guys have seen me do this before where I just buy one ammo. I know it's cheesy, okay, extremely cheesy, but it works, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and try to find this person's uh, vendor here. Oh, right on. Nice spot. Nice spot. Okay, shop. Let's wait for everything to kind of load in here. See what this person's got. All right. Pretty expensive. Uh, they don't have any ammo on them, do they? No, they don't. All right, let's... Um, so, again, I usually kind of pick the ones that have ammo. And uh, I'll just usually buy one ammo, because a lot of people will sell ammo for one cap. Okay? And that's what I usually do. I know, again, I know it's cheesy, but I usually end up buying more from them. But I like to kind of show that in the video. Uh, just for folks who are maybe short on... On caps and such. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to buy this uh, right away here. What they got for outfits? Let's see here. Oh, that's not bad. Pretty good price. Oh, what's that? Huh. Expensive. Okay, so we're just going to buy a right away. And it cost us 25 caps. Here we go. Buy an item or sell an item. Uh, uh, another uh, player you do whatever you so wish and uh, and that's so I think they might have done that by mistake here all right let's go ahead here we're going to get out of here because I think they're attacking me <laughs> it happens it happens there we go let's uh, head back to our camp All right, there we go. Back at our camp. Okay, so, that, so that's something you can do for that particular uh, daily challenge. You don't have to buy the most expensive thing. Uh, to wait for someone to come to your camp to buy something um, doesn't happen very often nowadays. We have talked about this the other day. Uh, I, I know uh, some people have come to my camp, my new camp here, the last day or two. And have bought a few things there, which has been a long time. But, uh, but yeah, that's what you guys can do there. Uh, so what we're going to do for the rest of this stuff, uh, we're actually going to head into the direction of a private server. So that's what we're going to do here. I just find it's a little bit easier doing daily challenges, the weekly challenges on a private server. That way there I get the mobs that I want. I get the stuff, most times the stuff that I want. And so I'm not in competition with other folks. Wait for that one to pop back in here. We finally uh, finished uh, watching that uh, Fallout TV series on Prime last night, the last two episodes. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have been watching it. Um, my wife doesn't play video games at all, but uh, she enjoyed it. And uh, I thought it was pretty awesome. I give it, I, I give it a thumbs up. Definitely worth a watch, even if you don't play the game. I think the season two is coming out next year, twenty twenty five is what I, is what I heard. All right, here, let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna finish this one here off. Uh, kill a human enemy ten. So again, as you saw during the Mothman Equinox event, there are some cultists there. So cultists, again, are considered human enemies. Uh, Blood Eagles are also considered uh, human enemies as well. All right. So that gives you guys some, some, some options there. And of course, most of us know we see this icon it's usually cultists. Okay, we see this icon here. It's usually Blood Eagles. Okay, either or. 
Uh, so we just need two more. So what we'll actually do is we'll actually uh, pop up here to the crosshair. We haven't been up there in a little bit, so we'll wreak some havoc up here. There we go. Okay. Again, good thing about this is wide open. There's in no specific uh, way. No specific uh, weapon. We just kill human enemies. We're going to finish off these cats here. Might as well. I think there's one more. Right there. Good stuff. Pick up some... Uh, oh, look at that. Three caps in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pick up some spoils here. One that rolled down here. Don't bother with those missiles. Okay, some machine gun. That's good. Okay, good stuff. So we finished that. Then that one there off. All right, let's see what's next here. Let's see what is next. Uh, there's a couple things that we can do in our camp. Uh, so we'll leave that one there for last. Let's go ahead. We're gonna cripple a mall miner's head too. Uh, many great spots for some mole miners. Um, we'll obviously need two of them, but Mananga is a great spot for mole miners. Usually about 10 or 12 of them there. Usually about half of them are glowing. Okay. Uh, right down here in the ash heap, you'll find mole miners kind of just walking around, usually in like packs of like three or four. Okay. Uh, Welsh is a great spot, very popular spot for uh, mole miners. And um, even though they have these little sections here, you'll find some enemies, but they're not mole miners every single time. Sometimes they're ghouls and scorched. Um, so just an FYI on that. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to stay up this part of the map here today. And we're just going to fast travel to Mondanga and we're going to take out our mole miners here. Because there's usually two of them that are kind of by themselves with a mole rat and we'll take care of this here. Now you can free aim if you so wish. Uh, so we're here at Mondanga for some mole miners. Uh, you know, you can free aim if you so wish. Or you can use vats for the mole miner's head. Now, if you use vats, there's a perk card that'll help us out with that. Thunder perception. Concentrated fire will allow you to move your vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. I like to use vats myself just because uh, some enemies are pretty quick for some reason in the game. When they're shot at, they kind of hide behind stuff. So that's why I kind of use vats as compared to free aim. So we're just going to aim for the head here. And uh, we're going to cripple them. being trolled here by something. He missed me. How you doing? Huh, <laughs> got him. So again, this is a pretty good spot just because there's usually two mole monitors just out here by themselves. And a uh, great way to, to complete this daily. Without being, you know, attacked by, you know, about 10 other mall miners and stuff. So, a bunch of mall miners here around town. I've taken you guys here many times. <laughs> yeah. We'll go over here and we'll pick this stuff here up if we can sneak over here. I don't know why I pick up that missile. Stuff. Let's drop that missile. Three of them, wow. Missiles are fairly heavy. Okay. What's next here, Jim? We can go ahead and we can do that one in our camp, that one in our camp. So we're going to go ahead and do this one here. Plant a crop in a workshop or camp five. So we can go ahead, claim any old workshop on the map, whatever you want to do. Or you can just plant a crop in your camp. Now you're going to have to get some crops. Uh, many great spots for crops. Okay, uh, you'll find some crops in around uh, Big Al's Tattoo Parlor around the corner under the uh, underpass. Okay, uh, you'll find some crops right up here at Cobbleton Farm. Uh, but one of the best spots for crops is right down here. Silva Homestead, a bunch of corn on the hill. Billings Homestead, a bunch of razor grain, like all kinds. So we're going to actually fast travel to Silva Homestead here today.
All right, so here we're here for some crops. Now, uh, there is a perk here that'll help you out, uh, especially if you are a herbivore. Um, let's go check that out. It's under perception. Talk about it all the time. Green thumb reprices as much when harvesting flora. So instead of, you know, one uh, corn, you get two corn. Well, instead of one razor grain, you get two razor grain. So herbivore, definitely a must have card. I don't know when it is you get at what level. Uh, but once when you get it, definitely don't scrap it. It's definitely worth the have. Even if you're a carnivore like myself, I use it for daily, weekly challenges, and uh, it's very useful card to have. And uh, that's what we're going to grab here today. We're going to grab some corn. Um, I don't have any crops in my new camp at all, so we're actually going to plant these and probably keep them there. And that's what I highly recommend to folks is uh, corn and razor grain are probably the most popular ones to have because you can use corn or razor grain to ferment beer and do other daily weekly challenges with and that's why i highly recommend uh corn and razor grain at least in your camp and that way there you can do all kinds of daily weekly challenges let's see how many we got here 16 that's enough all right let's head back to our camp here good stuff if you wonder why it looks kind of mystic <laughs> looking like this is I have the uh, fog weather station Linux City fog uh, weather station there that's why it kind of looks so kind of mystic looking FYI looks really cool with the lighting uh, so let's go ahead now that we got our crops uh, plant a crop and workshop for camp so we're just gonna do it at our camp because again We'll always have it. Let's go to our build, our build menu here. And we're actually go down to the uh, food section of the build menu right here. We got corn. Now this is always going to cost you uh, razor grain. Or not razor grain. Um, fertilizer, I should say. But a lot of people will have fertilizer on them and not even realize they have so much. Let's go ahead. We're going to plant these suckers here. One thing good about... Um, crops is that they are good at mowing stuff now see how i mowed that tree down yeah that's another another great thing about uh, planted crops you can clear out an area pretty darn good there we go plant a crop in a workshop or camp five five you can keep them i'm going to keep them or you can scrap them whatever you want to do they do go against your budget your camp budget so just an fyi if you're planning on planting a lot of them all right what's next here Scrap drum to produce rubber five, so rubber you can find all throughout the wasteland. Um, real good spot for rubber uh, in Grafton. There's like a little high school there. And in the back of the gymnasium, there is um, lots of rubber uh, basketballs. And I believe down here at Morgantown High School, it has uh, some rubber stuff down there as well, almost similar. But you can check those out. But if you're looking to do daily weekly challenges, you might as well just do it as fast as possible so you can move on to other things here. And we're just going to go inside our camp here. Where's my uh, Tinker's Workbench? Right here. <laughs> so we're going to bulk rubber and then scrap it at the old Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft. Let's go down to bulk. We're down here to bulk rubber. So as long as you have two plastic and ten raw rubber, you can bulk one rubber. And that's what we're going to do here. Just bulk one. That's all that we need go ahead and back out we're going to scrap we're going to scrap the bulk rubber we just crafted here done scrap junk to produce rubber five for five again nothing stopping you from going in the wasteland to find junk items to give you rubber but rubber is something that you usually end up having a lot of look at that rank 58 another 25 tickets beautiful absolutely beautiful uh what's next here? i think we have one more we have mod ballistic weapon one Okay, so you hear me talk about this all the time. Um, modding weapons, modding armor. Let's use our new uh, Iron Mountain Forge uh, workbench here. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and we're going to show you some uh, ballistic weapons here. Uh, machine guns are some great uh, examples of uh, ballistic weapons. Okay. Just an FYI as compared to energy weapons. All right, just give you guys some examples. Now, you hear me talk about all the time when we have these daily challenges, when we have to modify. Now, we all know that when we grab 
weapons out in the wasteland, either off of enemies or we find, we scrap them, we learn mods. Okay, but when we try to apply those mods, it's going to cost us valuable resources. And let's just face it, not everyone has a scrap box and have Fallout first. So I remember for the longest time I didn't. And there was certain materials I was always short on. Okay, um, so I always recommend for when you have this daily or weekly challenge to mod a weapon or mod armor. Uh, have a weapon that you either use day to day or have a weapon in your stash box that you know a paint for. All right. Uh, now, one good way you can check and go to the atomic shop. And if you go down to skin section. And then we'll go down to the weapons section. You can see that what you have for weapons and armor, but uh, you, it'll show you what you own uh, for paint. OK, for what weapon? And even if, you, if it's a weapon that you don't use day to day, at least you can have it in your stash box. And then that way there uh, you could do it's a, it's easy score, easy tickets. You know what I mean? Having something like that, that you know a paint for, and um, it just makes your life a whole lot easier because you're just using oil, okay? And uh, that's what I highly recommend to folks. You can, Again, you guys can do whatever you wish, uh, but uh, I do have this uh, lever action um, rifle with me, so we're going to go modify at our weapons workbench. Okay, so here is our ballistic weapon. We're going to slide it over. Go down here to the paint section. Now watch when we go default appearance. So it's not going to cost us anything at all. See that? Modern Ballistic Weapon 1 for 1 didn't cost us anything. We're going to go back to the Hunting Lever Action, which is just the paint. Put that back on because I like the look of it. But as you see there, how easy that was. It didn't cost us anything at all. And you could do the same thing when we have uh, Modify Armor. You guys have seen me do that many times. But yeah, there you guys go. What do you guys think of my new place anyway? Pretty cool, eh? This is the uh, Iron Mountain Anvil. It was on sale for Fallout First, folks. But uh, I was going to do... I'm not, I don't think I'm completely done with it yet. But uh, there, I want to wait till I want to yeah, fix up some other camps here before I make a video. But um, what makes it gives it that mystic kind of look there, of course, is that Atlantic City Fogma weather station but I, had, I did have a copper vein here and uh so anytime you build your camp over something like that under resources you can have the option they'll give you a mineral extractor and this guy will <laughs> pump this stuff out of the ground for me that copper oil uh, copper copper ore i should say or whatever vein that you you know that you happen to be on and then you go to your chemistry workstation you go craft Go down here to smelting. We have copper scraps, so copper scrap times three. And all we need is acid. <laughs> and then a certain amount of copper ore. Now one thing I haven't tried yet is if Super Duper will work with this. And then I'm just kind of adding this in, I guess, because I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to try doing Super Duper and do it at the same time with you guys. Let's go ahead here. Um, craft down to smelting as you guys know i'm always short on copper because i'm making um alien blaster rounds it requires a lot of copper and uh copper's a little hard to find sometimes let's go ahead we're gonna max it out here okay oh good stuff so that little lightning strike did tell us that uh we got more copper out of it let's see how much we got 21 copper scrap nice that's awesome uh, let's go ahead and put that perk card back before I forget. We're being attacked by some super mutants. Why are you not doing your job, Del? Del? Like, come on, man. Come on, like, what are you doing? You have a weapon, use it. <laughs> Listen, if you don't pull your weight around here, gone. Okay, just like Raider Punk back in the day going to be gone if you don't pull your weight <laughs> but uh but yeah this is the downstairs everything that i hold dear pretty much day to day uh fits fits in this uh one little room which is pretty awesome and i think it looks great now if it didn't have that uh atlantic city fog machine it wouldn't have this kind of glow to it the lights do kind of give off that glow but it wouldn't look like this 
and uh, just upstairs is just something real simple, just like a little kind of bedroom kind of deal showing off all the scoreboards completed. But, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, this little setup here. Yeah. And of course, we're done our daily challenges. Pretty Don't awesome. I had a few loose screws. Yeah. I am so there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138, Robco. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.